Hello, Hello everyone. everyone, it's, it's me, me. I'm, I'm Ian, I'm hosting again. again. It's, it's been a while, while. Uh, but, but it's a joyous, joyous occasion. occasion. Join, Join us, us as occasionally, occasionally but, but definitely always welcome, welcome is Zach Crosby. Crosby. Are you out there, buddy? Yes, I am. Am I on mute? No, you're good. Uh, it's just the oh, uh, stream got an echo because I had both the uh, camera microphone and my own microphone going. Oh, perfect. It's all good. How's it going? It's good. It's good. I've had two beers. I'm ready to, oh. ready to relax. Man, I got home. I had like video editing to do. I had to get the stream set up. I had to pack because I'm going to Seattle tomorrow. And I'm just, all these days that I'm losing, can't do subpixel work. I had to get it all done tonight. Oh, yeah. But I've got something for me. Not for you, just for me. Oh, boy. It's the second oh. Genesis Mini. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. That's incredible. It's so good looking. It's, it's there now. Look, it's got the <laughs> join the 16-bit revolution. It's great. Yeah. Um, it's also got this cool graphic on the back. What? All 40 games. I know absolutely nothing about this. You don't. So I'm oh, thinking about all this? of my excitement over this. Yeah, I know. I know like the NES Classic and all the other things, but I don't know what is this. So is this a Sega like genuine Sega thing? Yes, this is a genuine Sega thing. But the thing is, Sega has made one of these before, or at least outsourced it to a different company, and it was terrible. Like it was worse than just emulating the games. Um, oh yeah. But this one's supposed to be fantastic. It came out today. Uh, it's got 40 games in it. Uh, people are giving it very good reviews. I believe it's $80. Um, That's not bad. Let's crack it open. What do you say? Let's do it. Boom. Oh, man. Foot cam? Yes. Heck, yeah. It's probably not great quality because uh, it's just the webcam, but good enough. So I have not unboxed this yet. I've opened it up a little bit. But let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. What is this? Great packaging. Oh, a little power brick. That's appreciated. Yeah. Is I, I it just say, USB? Yeah, just USB. Oh. I want to say there was um, one of these mini consoles that came out that did not have the power brick. I think it may have been either the NES Classic or the SNES Classic. Oh, yikes. Something about how they just didn't want to like support it for multiple territories, so they just provide the USB cable. Um, but they didn't want to have to make multiple different bricks and worry about different SKUs for territories, which being mm. in the somewhat hardware game makes sense, because then you would have you would have a different box for let's say you'd have a different box for the UK versus France because mm. you'd have have a different power adapter in it. Whereas if you don't include the power adapter, you can have the same box. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah, see what the, else. I just imagine the 10 different production lines you'd have to run just to that one little part switching out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even just, like, returns, shipping, you're like, all right, how many of each SKU do you want? Ugh. Look at that. Oh, man. There's some nostalgia right there. I have not touched a Genesis controller in so long. Yeah, it's been at least 15 years for me <gasps> wait these things didn't have shoulder buttons I wow so. oh this deep hat's not bad though it's kind of like a top hat <laughs> feels pretty good feels pretty good all right let me um let me unwrap one of them might as well be this one we're not going to play two-player today because, unfortunately, we don't have that technology. No, we're not there yet. Oh, but you know what? We probably could because I'll show you why shortly. Why we could. Well, not. We, we'd have to hack it, but I think it's totally feasible in yeah. a real bonkers way. All right, so let me throw some of this packaging over here so it's out of the way. So there's the controller. Did you have a, a Sega Genesis growing up? I did not. I did not have an NES, an SNES, a Genesis. The first game console I got was a used GameCube I bought off of uh, eBay when I was in middle school. My, oh, wow. uh, my mother, for whatever reason, just said no video games at all, except for like mm -hmm. crappy computer games until I was in middle school. Very weird, but yeah. 
that is, that is a an odd. Hey, I grew up not being allowed, allowed to watch Power Rangers or Batman the Animated Series, so we I'm all sorry. have our weird little things. I'm sorry, you said not being allowed to watch, p and I said porn. <laughs> Still not allowed to. No. HDMI cable. Not gonna unwrap that. What resolution that. does this put out at? I honestly I don't know because the SNES Classic and the NES Classic output at uh, 720p, which is fine because the games are yeah. 240p originally. I'm just um, wondering how the upscaling is for. Again, let's see if it thing. says it in the uh, instruction manual. Oh man, can we go through this page by page? Yes. But first, I have to do this. I have to do this. Uh, sorry, I have to do this. I'm getting there. So, okay, wait, sorry. Oh, wait, one second. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, no, wait, sorry. One more click. This. There yeah. we go. <laughs> Sega Genesis Mini. Three languages. Well, it's kind of funny that it's three languages, though, because I believe Europe is getting the Mega Drive. Mm hmm. Hmm. Anyways. Maybe for uh, Quebec. Yeah. Quebec. Okay, so HDMI, AC adapter, USB cable, two controllers, AC adapter deck. Yeah, nothing special here. Uh, that's the same thing in a different language. Yeah, it doesn't say. Interesting. Let's see what else we got back here. Whoa. Lots of stuff. Yeah, doesn't say. Let me throw this back well, in the bag. You know, I'm guessing 720p if it's HDMI. Maybe 480p if they want to try and run it a little bit faster. But Yeah, I'm going to bet 720p just to keep it standard yeah. with the, uh, the NES Classic isn't and the, the SNES. Isn't the Switch 720p on in handheld and then 1080p? Yes, yeah, because the, the screen is 720p. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then the, the output resolution, when it's docked, actually changes per game. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, actually, it's no. it's 1080p, I believe. Yeah. I think it, I think it, yeah, it always, the render resolution changes, but the output is always 1080. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, boy. It's gorgeous. Let me turn it around. It's so little. Oh my goodness, do these, <gasps> these switches work? I don't know if they do anything. I gotta get this out of the back. On button, reset button. There's no way. So they, they plugged in the, the hole for the headphone jack, but this moves. So what does it control? I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, I got to take this off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, peel it. Sorry, let me just get right here. <sighs> Satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it looks... Oh, 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 my God. Zach, look at this. Ready? Oh, no way. You know, it's the little things. So there is... make life worth living. Maybe at the end of the stream I'll show you. There is a an even more expensive version of this in Japan that is phenomenal, and I'll have to show you why. Um, okay, so that's HDMI and USB uh, micro for power. Mm -hmm. But here's the crazy thing. USB. I believe these controllers will work on a computer. Oh, oh, so the, okay. But here's so the, the bonkers thing. I guarantee you there's a way. Okay, this is the crazy thing. This is totally feasible. I just don't know why anybody would do it. But let's say you had a controller on your end plugged into yep. your computer. And it was, mm -hmm. your computer was reading the commands and then sending them over the internet to my computer. And then my yep. computer was outputting them via USB into the console. Oh yeah, definitely. You could totally do it with feasible. like a remote desktop. Yeah, kind exactly. Of thing. My my keyboard would, yeah. Yeah, you just have to oh, um, figure out this interface. Way. Yeah, yeah. Be bonkers. Um, I think awesome. it may be party time. 
Let me throw some stuff around here. Let's do it. Uh, yes, it is uh, HDMI output capable of up to 720p. Oh, okay. So there might be games that run at a lower resolution just for optimization. So um, for our zero viewers, Zach and I were talking earlier. I'm not sure if this is actually going to game capture properly without me having to cycle the stream. But let's see what happens. We, I've had some weird issues with Elgato where it just, the first time you turn it on, it, it doesn't work properly. So I have to shut down OBS and turn it back on. But that would kill the stream. So let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. We'll find out. That is not the right cable. One second, folks. I like did all the pre-preparation to like get all the cables I needed already plugged in. And I grabbed the wrong USB. Oh. Whoops. There we go. Very excited about this. So you had a Genesis growing up, right, Zach? I didn't know. I think I didn't. I think I got one at a flea market or something. Or maybe a friend did. I just know I've I've played it for maybe a week straight and then never touched it again. Oh yeah. Is that the one I that, was... that Will has? I don't know. He has one. Maybe it's... Yeah. Uh, I, I know it was somewhere in between when, like, we also had a Dreamcast. So that was the more interesting thing to play because it was the current. Oh, thing. yeah. Gotcha. And I was like, I don't care about old games. Like, I played NES, or Super NES when it was the thing to play. And yeah. not where all these, these young kids these days are playing it, acting all retro. I played... I played the the Batman animated series video game more than I ever watched the show growing up <laughs> and had my mom input all the cheat codes so I could skip to the cool levels. Okay, let's see. Oops. I think we may have something. Let's see. It's trying. There's the black screen. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. So basically, typically when that happens, I have to restart OBS, but I'm going to try some uh, subterfuge real quick. So let me go back to this view. Let me put my phone out of the shot in case I get a message. <laughs> yeah, for Pornhub. Oh, uh, Ian, we, we haven't seen you yet tonight. Where you been? Is everything okay? Should we? 30 minutes since your last visit. <laughs> Should we call 911? Did you see there was some stat where Pornhub is the number one most visited site on the Xbox One web browser? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty great. I guess it would make sense because if a kid's parents are super strict and they block, I no, it's probably just old guys going on Pornhub because they can. I was just yeah. thinking if I were young and my parents had like a blocker on the computer, I would just go on the Xbox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. So I am going to, I'm basically cycling some of these, uh, the stream setup. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 